Hi everyone. I'm trying to get this internet so that it's steady. Good heavens. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. This is One Illumined Heart. My name is Rajit and I'm delighted that you're here with us. It is snowing outside. It is gorgeous. I was going to have an Ascension group party here. We're all ascending on our on our own in our homes. We canceled because it was just um, too dangerous out there. It's um, Seattle gets a lot of snow like a few times a year. And when it does, everybody kind of shuts down. I think we're not set up for all the snow plows and stuff. But anyway, I want to welcome you to another day, Cosmic Day 6 of the Cosmic Wave of energy that is here on the planet, loving and supporting us. I'm wondering how all of you are doing. I'd love for you to share comments. I won't be able to see them because I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I need to probably hire somebody to help me learn how to do that or set it up so that I can see it on my computer or my phone. So if anybody knows anybody, I'm open to ideas. So we're going to do Again, love light language to open up your own inner corridors toward the love that you are, the light that you are, and to get that energy moving for your frequency in your body, mind, heart, and soul to start to align with the possibility of you opening. Now, many of you are already open. Many of you have been working with me for a long time and I have many, many layers of opening. Other people are brand new to this. Just know that there's love and support from the entire universe. All you have to do is make the choice to choose love and everything will follow. The support of the universe will follow you and it will be there. So um, I would just like to say that in this time today, we want to do self-forgiveness work. We want to talk about how important it is to do self-forgiveness forgiveness. I think I'm going to move a little bit closer to my video for right right now. I think it'll be a little bit easier. Um, <clears throat> so self-forgiveness is essential for your own healing. Uh, I've been helping people forgive others, forgive God, forgive themselves for, uh, I don't know, probably 30 years or more. Um, there is, there are many sweet forgiveness processes out there. And I think whatever, which one you use with you, if it's with a religion that you're connected to or a meditation group, do that. Um, letting go of what we believe we are, that is wrong with us or mistakes that we've made, uh, things that we're harboring against ourselves needs to be let go because it stops the ocean of love flow and the ocean of light flow that can move through your energy field and into your body. Our chakras are the energy centers in our bodies are connected to that those emotional pieces. And when you have that stuck in there at whatever level, and sometimes it's many multiple chakras that are included, it really does block your own light and love from coming through. So by taking a moment and choosing to do love, choosing to do forgiveness, you can move that energy out of you and start to move into the flow of the love and the light and the truth of who you are. So let's do that now. <clears throat> so let's start by doing some breaths and let's, Pull in, let's see, the first color that they're showing me, of course, is our tornado white light. So like a tornado, let it swirl around you and through the core of you. Give permission to the divine within you and your own higher self to move this energy that doesn't belong to you, that may feel negative, or whatever that happened in your day today or yesterday that may still be sitting with you or concerns that you have just for this moment in time, release it. Okay, so let's do that now. White light. 
and just do two or three breaths into that white light and giving permission for that to be moved off of you, whatever is in the way of you receiving your own highest, best love and light today. <clears throat> Good. And then my guides are showing me that the next really good light to bring in is pink. So I'm hearing that some of you only need five shades of pink light. Others of you may need 15 to 19. So what I would recommend is to just give permission to your higher self. Let's activate whatever number of angels you have to say, I give permission to the divine within me and around me to activate all the love and light corridors that are available to me, to activate my angels, to love and support me, to clear my field, to bring me exactly what I need in terms of perfect frequencies of love, light, and sound to move through my field and through my body and through my bones. So just give permission now for that pink light at whatever number of shades of pink that you personally may need to bring you nurturing, supportive, loving, tender, and gentle energy to support you. Because that is what we all need and want. So let's give permission for that to happen. And if some of you like to do prayers when you do this it's wisdom to do that or if you have a mantra or a positive loving affirmation or gratitudes while this is happening any of those would be fabulous to lift up your frequency to open up your receptivity to the possibility of who you are what you are and what can come to you And I'm already hearing some sounds in my field that are very supportive along with the colors to bring that tender nurturing energy into my consciousness, into my field, into my body. And it's making me feel warm. And it's making me feel glowing with the light of God's or divine's love for me. And I know some of us have trouble with receiving and I've had trouble with that many, many years of my life. And I'm saying yes to this energy now. Try saying yes to yourself, to allowing the divine to come into your body. It's already actually there, but to consciously have it be there and for you to participate consciously in that choice. And so what I'm seeing now is this shower. My gosh, I'm going to cry. Hope I have tissues close by. Just a second, I'm going to have to get tissues. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but I don't want to be totally wet with eyes that are crying. But when this much love comes in, it chokes me up. Ugh. And I'm filled with gratitude. My experience in this last couple of years of working on this ascension process has been just this powerful wave upon wave of awakening and love at so many different levels. Not only in myself, but watching it in others has been pure joy, just this gratitude of being able to work hand in hand with the divine, with my clients, with my family, with my friends, to see the blossoming of God's love and truth become expanded and available. 
And if you want that in your life, it is really, really good to begin with self-forgiveness. So right now we're prepping our field in between the tears. I'm not going to, I wouldn't normally apologize for these tears, but I'm not going to. These are tears of love and gratitude. These are tears of union with the divine that has no words. It's a presence. And the presence is a present. It is a gift. Ah, that's all you need is an emotional person, right? On YouTube. <laughs> ah, but getting in touch with that raw truth of how much love is possible for us is amazing. And so now I'm feeling this incredible royal blue light moving through my body. The consciousness of God just moving like a sword of truth running through my spine, through my body like this column of incredible strength and light and love. And that warrior part of myself, that warrior part of all of us that comes and can become present is here. Just choose to allow that gift to be yours. And if you've never experienced, just give your permission to the divine and give yourself permission to receive it. And to know that no matter what mistakes you've ever made, and I've made a ton, regardless of what, we are human and we are deserving of love. And worthiness is intrinsic. We are worthy of love just because of being created by the creator in love. Oh, more tears. Oh. <laughs> Good. So we've got white light running through us, pink light coming, and royal blue. Rawr. Be present with it. Okay. So I want you to just imagine a plate or a platter or a table in front of you. And I want you to put on there all the things that you don't like about yourself that you can't forgive yourself for right now. Just put it all out there. You have the support of the divine. You are divine. You have pink nurturing light, white light to do the clearing. And now we're going to call in the violet spectrum of light. God's love and support for us in the physical body, in the material world, in the emotional world, in the mental world. It is here. Give permission for whatever shades, from lilac, light, light, lilac, lavender, to deep, deep, dark violet, to be part of your energy field, at whatever level your body, your soul, and your energy field can receive it right now. And which you will be able to receive more of after this self-forgiveness. So here we go. Everything's on the plate. <clears throat> give yourself permission to forgive yourself. One of the things that I have in my forgiveness process, and anybody who wants it, can write me at info at oneillumineheart.com and I'm happy to send you the forgiveness process. But in there it says that I give permission to the divine within me to do the forgiving with me and for me in all the places I've been unable and or unwilling to forgive myself. All you have to do is be willing to move into the divine holy alignment of love and forgiveness and the rest is history. It just will, it'll just be there. So let's straighten our spines, open our hands to receiving. And I'm going to use the term God only because it's what I'm familiar with. But you could also use the term Creator, Great Spirit, whatever works for you. 
a word for God in your language, in your religion. So Mother, Father, God, creator of all that is, I thank you for the blessing and the opportunity to forgive myself of all the mistakes that I've ever made. Today, yesterday, this lifetime, and other lifetimes. I choose at this time to move into the divine alignment of the Holy Spirit of being willing to do this forgiveness. I thank you for pulling and canceling the programs and the beliefs that I have that I am not worthy, that I'm not deserving. I am unforgivable. I'm not good enough. I choose to cancel the program of I hate myself and I know forgive myself. I've made too many mistakes and I can't forgive myself. I'm willing to release that too. I have too much anger and rage at others and I can't forgive that and I won't forgive that. Forgive all of that. Put it on that plate. Thank you, dear God, for pulling and canceling all these negative programs, all these negative beliefs, any curses that I might have placed on myself to suffer, financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually. I cancel any and all condemnation that I put on myself or judgments. Thank you, God, for pulling and canceling all of this on all three levels of my existence and the history level. So Mother, Father, God, creator of all that is, we thank you for pulling, canceling all the negativity on all three levels, releasing it on the history level, releasing it in all my chakras and all my chakra levels. Because they all connect to the different soul levels. I give permission for all of this to be sent up into the divine's holy light of love, along with any imprints, any images, any memories, all dark energies and entities that have been holding all of this together for me until I could be willing and, and, and able to forgive. Let's choose that right now. I choose now to send all of that up into the divine holy light to be canceled up there and released and exchanged for God's unconditional love for me and my unconditional love for myself and my unconditional love for my relationship with the divine or God. I thank you for changing these, all these thought forms, all these beliefs, all these condemnations, all these curses, all these judgments. I choose to release them in time and space, beyond time and space, throughout all planes of existence and all dimensions. I give permission to the divine to change them to the positive.
in all the places I've not forgiven myself, I choose on all levels of my soul right now to forgive myself for all the mistakes that I've made. I choose to cancel all curses, all condemnations, all judgments I've made on myself. Any negative decrees and negative vows and oaths that I might have made that are negatively impacting me, I cancel those. I cancel this program I have of I don't deserve forgiveness to I absolutely choose in this moment in time and give permission to the divine to help me move into alignment with the thought form that I do deserve forgiveness. And I accept that forgiveness from the divine and from my own higher self and myself in this body. And wherever it is that I'm not able or willing to forgive myself, I give the God or the divine in me permission to do it with me and for me so that I am in the alignment of what my choice is with great love and sweet surrender. I change the program right now on all levels of my soul that I am unforgivable to I am forgivable. I am the creator's divine child. And just as you would forgive your own children, your lover, your husband, your wife, your partner, your friend, forgive yourself. I am forgiven and I am forgivable. I forgive myself on all levels of my soul and I give permission to the forces of love and light to help hold me in that place of forgiveness. And let's change, I hate myself. There are parts of me that hated me. And if you have parts of you that you're aware of that hate yourself, let that go. I forgive myself for hating myself. I allow the program in this moment in time on all levels of my soul to change, I hate myself to I choose in this moment to allow myself to love myself, to accept that I love myself. I embrace loving myself. Say that to yourself. I embrace loving myself. I am worthy, I am valuable, I am deserving, I am divine. All of my errors are forgivable and already forgiven by the divine. It is only I that is holding unforgiveness to me. Breathe that in. The divine has already forgiven you the instant you make a mistake. I keep being shown that over and over and over. It is our mind, it is our ego, it is the negative powers, energy that keeps us from forgiving ourselves and one another. So choose right now to forgive yourself. Be in that place of allowing yourself to be forgiven. I love myself. I am forgiven and forgivable. Say that to yourself. I release hating myself on all levels of my soul. I embrace loving myself on all levels of my soul. And wherever I cannot do that or I'm willing, I'm not willing to do that, I give permission to the God or the divine in me to do it for me and with me, to walk hand in hand with me on this journey of self-healing. And whatever I need to do in terms of prayers, remembrance and gratitude toward the divine and myself, 
selfless service, tithing, whatever I need to do to balance my karma, I do it with grace and with love and gratitude. I allow forgiveness and love for myself into my energy field, into my physical body, into my emotional body, into my mind. I allow my mind to release and let go of the judgments I hold against myself. And I choose love. I choose to look into the mirror and see the light of the divine within me. And where I cannot on a day or a moment do that, I give permission to the divine within me to show me, to do it with me and for me, to let me see what is good in me. Allow it to reflect back to yourself. When you're feeling like crap about yourself in a moment, sometimes it's important to take the time to make a list of things that are good about you. I remember many years ago, many, many years ago, I was going through a really rough spot in my marriage. And my husband and I really got into it and I had to leave for a little while. And the day after I left for the first day, I was told to make a list of what was good about him. Not only for him, but for me to remember, for me to see, for me to recognize, to be willing to mirror that to him. So I went on a ferry boat ride from Seattle to Bremerton and Bremerton back. And then again from Seattle to Bremerton, it was a two set ferry boat ride. And the most marvelous thing occurred. I said, okay, God, I am willing to see the good in him because I love him. But when things get bad, you know, sometimes we occlude what's the obvious in front of us. This man was in a great deal of pain. I was in a great deal of pain. We were both blinded by our pain and probably our personal arrogance and our egos. We were not looking at one another's souls. So I thank God for helping me to, to make a list. And many tissues later on those ferry boat rides, writing and writing and writing and writing. The divine within me and my spiritual teacher helped me to come up with 880 things that were good about this man that I dearly loved, whom I was having huge difficulties with. I was having those same difficulties within myself, only I didn't know it at the time. I was pointing out instead of looking at all the fingers pointing back at me. I'm sharing the story because what happened after that was powerful. So I rewrote the list of 80 things on a beautiful piece of paper. I got a card and I bought a bunch of flowers and I didn't go back home for I think almost two weeks. And I delivered the card and the flowers to the front door of my home. And I left because I knew that I was not ready to deal with whatever was there that he was dealing with. And I had to clean my own side of the street up. And he called me and he was in tears. And he said, how in the world did you come up with 80 things that are good about me when I can't even think of 10? And of course that made me cry because he was good in so many more ways. And that was the problem, was his, in his inability to bear witness to the beauty of his soul. And when he was not being the beautiful possible self that he could be, 
I was paying attention to the parts of him that were being awful instead of good. We both had a massive disconnect from the love that who we are on the inside in expression. And we were not able to share that with one another. I was as guilty as he was. That was a huge gift for both of us to be able to recognize that. So as I'm sharing this with you, I want you to know that the journey of self-healing is a powerful one. It's not for the faint of heart. It's for those who are warrior spirits who can look in the mirror and go, okay, God, I am trembling in my boots. I have so much to forgive myself for. Thank you for helping me do this. Thank you for helping me to see the beautiful bright light in me, the beautiful bright light in others. And really the truth is, when you can see the love and the light in you, is when you can more greatly see the love and the light in others. The criticism of others will reduce when you slow down the criticism of yourself and you move into deep, deep love and appreciation. So now just blanket yourself in this beautiful pillow of love that you've just created by doing self-forgiveness, by allowing the programs to change from the negative to the positive, to remember that you are worthy, divine, and deserving, that you are lovable and loved, forgiven and forgivable, if you have to remind yourself on a daily basis, do the list, do the reminding. So now it's time for the Ascension Love Light Language opening. Now that we've opened your heart to yourself, let's do that. Okay, cheers, I'm gonna have a little water. That was a lot of water. I'm gonna move back a little bit so you can see my arm movements. Let me see here. Whoop. I can't remember which way I'm supposed to move. Whoop. The wrong way. Whoops, sorry, you guys. I'm ugh, terrible with this stuff. I need a cameraman, right? Would that help? <laughs> I think it might help. I'm not sure. Okay. So here we go. Pulling it in. Great big, beautiful breaths of love into your body. Just now that you've done self love, just ah, let it let it in into your body, into your field. Here we go. I don't know what's going to come through, but it will be about self-love and forgiveness on some level. So everyone get quiet and find that place in your center. If it's the top of your head, if it's your third eye, if it's the tip of your nose or your chin, your throat chakra, your heart chakra, your solar plexus, your first or second chakra your legs, your elbows, your wrists. Find that place that is neutral, that you can pour love into, that you can allow an opening for. So here we go. Connect with your own divinity, your own love and your own light. I uh, also am a takara, ito asi. Asi yo yo mono ko asaya oto asana ka. Poto asati yo mono ko so aia ta 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 ta. Isu mana ka yo o. Isu mono ka ya asata. Ito asi mono. Ata ka e isu ataya. Ichuasi amana koyo o patakaya saa. Ichu manaya o mono atasayu. Atakaya amana soa iyo. Atakaya monoa. Isu tu 
Amanasai yo kaya. Eso ai o tu asa omono atai oso aya omana o tu asai. Asayamana O tu asayamana kaya Osu Anemo Anema Asaye Kisu Totu somono ai Peitu asa Kaya osomono ai Emanaya opoto asai etu keyo asa amanaye o amanayo u ase aya kotowati asayano ataiyo esu. Tata Asai Omano Atata Oyo Asatu Atakeya Oso Ata Atataka Yomano Ati Closer. Thank you for doing this with me. And remember, if you're watching this after the live, that the energy is still there. It's available to you to use. So let's do the translation of what that was. By the way, those of you who are not familiar with love light language, in fifth dimensional reality, I know that there's going to be a minimum of three love light languages that humanity will all be able to understand one another. And it has to do with kind of like where we've come from, what we are, our affinity is in terms of the language. So know that there's a part of you that already knows what this is. If you're listening and it feels right to you, um, it will open up corridors inside of you. There are other beautiful people who speak in love light languages from other traditions, and they are beautiful as well. All right, so here we go. So it was connecting with the divine God, Atata. Atata is God. And it was enjoining that I choose to be fully connected to God within me. I give permission to that divine love that created me to move fully into my consciousness, into all levels of my soul that are connected to this embodiment. I choose to be an ambassador of love, of light, of truth, of wisdom. I choose to honor and support my own sovereignty and that of others. I choose to be a way shower of truth, of love and light on the planet. I choose to hold the hands and the hearts of my brothers and sisters who are on this journey of owning and finding their God selves. I choose love. I choose to be open. I thank God for forgiving me my mistakes. I give permission to myself to love myself and to forgive myself for my mistakes. I own the precious, precious beauty of who it is that I am and what I wish to mirror out to the world around me.
I choose to be in the consciousness of oneness, of love, of healing, of knowing, of inner truth and wisdom beyond measure. And so it is, I choose union with my own divine higher self and with the divine that created me. Thank you all for being here, for being you. I'd love to hear back from you to see how the love light language transmission and the forgiveness process may have helped and served you in some way. You can leave comments on my Facebook live page. You can leave comments on my YouTube because this is going to go up on my YouTube channel, One Illumined Heart. In both places, you'll be able to visit this information and re-listen to this broadcast if it serves you to open up those corridors. Choose love. It is such an honor and a privilege to be connecting with you, heart, my heart, to your beautiful heart. To choose love for the planet. I love all of you. Take care and choose to be blessed. Choose to receive and choose to give from the heart. Bye-bye. Take care. Till tomorrow at noon. God willing. <laughs>